So uh, I hope flatness is clear. Again, flatness nothing but controls the waviness of the surface so that I want a nice and smooth plane surface. Uh, now let's talk about perpendicularity. This is the second form tolerances, uh, tolerance that is highly used in our uh, GDNT area. So um, going back to the second slide, if you remember, I talked about a pin and how as a design engineer, I want the pin to be perfectly perpendicular to the plane. How do I define that? Uh, how do I tell the operator or the manufacturer that, hey buddy, I want this pin to be perfectly perpendicular. Uh, it is where the perpendicularity kind of comes into play. So um, what I would do is I would simply put a perpendicularity tolerance on this pin over here. Over here. So let's again 10 plus minus one. I have to give a size tolerance because there is no way that the manufacturer will always make the pin to be 10 millimeter. Uh, there has to be size tolerance. Again, this number tolerance is based on your industrial experience. And um, as you start working in the industry, you will get to know what that tolerance should be. So size tolerance 10 plus minus one, and I would add a feature control frame over here with a perpendicularity symbol. Okay. Um, I'll just give you five seconds to uh, uh, just to realize, should I put a five symbol over here or not? Should I put a symbol over here or should I not? I hope you guys uh, guess the right thing. Yes, I need to put a five symbol over here because it's a pin, right? Um, let's say I want the perpendicularity to be 0 0.5. And then, okay, I'm saying the pin needs to be perpendicular, but with respect to what? There are hundreds of surface in, uh, in an actual part, but I need this pin to be perpendicular to a specific surface. So I would call that surface as D. So what this means is that uh, it tells the operator that I want this pin. The size can lie anywhere between nine to 11. And also the axis of the pin should lie between a cylindrical tolerance zone over here of 0 0.5 millimeter. So this is the cylindrical tolerance zone over here. So basically this, this is the 0 0.5 and what I'm saying that at the axis can lie either this way, it can lie either this way or it can be perfectly straight. So that controls the perpendicularity of my feature of my pin back to my surface. So um, in general machining perpendicularity 0 0.5 is perfectly okay. And um, if I use a feature as my secondary datum, then I generally give a perpendicularity to my secondary datum. But uh, the number 0 0.5 is perfectly okay and the supplier should be able, to, if it's a drill part, if I'm drilling, uh, the 0 0.5 is perfectly okay to achieve without any additional cost. 